Hey, pop tarts and manly tarts. Uh, I'm always still weirded out by like fan base names, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know. I see you guys as my friends, but you guys like a long time ago, Wednesday, 742, 2.278 inches. Uh, people asked, they wanted a name. I was doing a live stream and my, all the people in there were like, we need a name. And I was like, really? Okay. I don't really care, but you know. It could be cool. It could be cool. And it was cool, and everyone decided on Pop-Tarts, but then a lot of the guys were like, I don't know, that sounds a little fruity, you know? I got this ego I need, and I was like, Tch, manly tarts, done and done. Ethan, manly tart. Alright, now. Where- oh, oh, I remember this. Yeah, I remember this mission. Not my favorites. Not my favorites. That, did you see the size of his nostrils? Like, dang! Dang! Alright, so, this is the door. Pretty sure we can't get through there. Um, that awkward moment when you can. Alright, no, we can't. Okay. Yeah. There's, I, I actually don't remember all the things of Heavy Rain, though, because it's it's been like four years since I played it, so maybe three years. No, four years. Well, going on four years. All right. Are those dead birds in there? Just like, okay. No, there's just. I thought those white specks on the top of the chain link uh, fence. Were, uh, were dead birds. I don't know why. Alright. Nice! Ah. Oh, wow! Ooh. Rusty. Gross. Alright, so we're at this generator. If you hear wind in the background, there's like, a, I don't know, another windstorm in Chicago. There's some pretty crazy storms that rolled through Illinois um, last weekend, I think. There were, like, some bad tornadoes. It's a butterfly. The origami was a butterfly. Mm -hmm. High voltage, warning. High voltage when we touch. Danger, danger. Um, oh. Well, that was easy enough. Tappy, tap, tap. <laughs> Just turn! Ain't nobody got time for the taps. No one. <laughs> Yesterday, my neighbors had like drama, which is cool because it's like, me and my boyfriend kind of feel like we're the out of place weirdo neighbors that everyone was like, why are they here? Because uh, we're young and not a family and there's a bunch of like, you know, I don't know, parents here and older people and we just kind of out of place uh, we you know I don't know kind of live weird we like play video games and stuff um, and stay at home all the time because we work from home so it's a little weird uh, but I was happy I was like dang they have drama now I'm not the weirdo neighbor that everyone's like what the hell is she here I don't know but like seriously the neighbors like I met some of them they're like you play video games don't you and I was like like for a living and I was like uh yeah you could say that and they're like yes that's what everyone said and I was like no one's told the neighbors that so I don't know how they know it's a little weird <laughs> um but anyway so we got some time to talk because this is just like me crawling through this uh pipe vent thing I don't know what this is there's some broken glass <laughs> that would suck though so anyways you know, me and my boyfriend were looking at cabins in Colorado, um, because we want to go, like, on a vacation. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it, slowly, so I don't tear up my arms. Alright, so let's slowly go through this. <laughs> and, uh, we just hear, like, the neighbor, like, slam- you hear a door slamming outside, and you're like, oh, what's that? And then a guy yelling, he's like, this is word for word what happens, and it reminded me of Ain't Nobody Got Time for That. Um, and this guy's like, I'm gonna have custody, bitch! Ain't nobody gonna change that! Watch flame. Indicate where the fresh <laughs> air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. 
<laughs> Sad for the kids. I'm assuming there's kids if it's, he said custody. Um, oh wait, why am I doing that again? Damn it. I didn't want to. But in the moment, it was kind of amusing for me because I didn't expect it. Alright, come on. Let's turn, buddy. Did I go the wrong way? <laughs> oh no! Which way now? There must be some way to get my bearings. A dead end. I'm gonna die in here if I don't find a way out soon. <laughs> it's not funny. All right, I can't tell stories. <laughs> it's a game, apparently. I was listening. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night because I'm pretty positive I have ADHD and I I don't know I've been able to deal with it most of my life but I'm pretty sure like I have adult ADHD to the extreme I have all the symptoms but that's you know it's whatever I just gotta find a way to <laughs> a way to organize myself. It's just so hard. I hate organization. Like, I want to be organized, but it's so I don't know. I don't have going. I'm sorry, you guys. How am I supposed to know which way to go from that? You can't see shit. Oh, I want to go the other way. It's too late. Oh, see, it's the dead end. <laughs> I'm just making him go through all the glass. Now I just feel bad for a video What's game that noise? character. It's bunnies. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Rats, charming. If they got in, then maybe I can get out. Yes. Oh. The match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Oh, alright. Uh, yeah, I was listening before. It's behind you. No, Ethan! Stop! Yeah, it's behind us. We know. We just gotta turn around. We can't do that. Why can't I move? Oh, okay. There we go. That was weird. He like wouldn't move. Yeah, I, I'm running on no sleep. <laughs> I just had an energy drink, so if I giggle a little too much, it's just because I'm out of control. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Whew, I'm gonna breathe and uh, calm down. This walking in class isn't funny at all. Yeah, if you've ever, like, you know, been scratched by glass, or like, I don't know, stepped on glass, that is not a good feeling. At all. Ugh. I like the noise glass makes when it breaks, though. It's probably one of the best noises in the world. Alright, so let's appropriately do the match thing now and not be a dumbass bitch. Alright. Gotcha. <laughs> Why are you turning, asshole? I'm turning! Oh, this is bullshit. I turned! Oh, now you're gonna turn when it's too late. Oh. What? This is just... Uh... No, Ethan. I told you to frickin' turn! Oh my god. Now he has to go to the right. Or the left. Yes, go that way. Please. Like, was that so difficult? Like, amazing how hard that was to turn, despite me pressing the direction in the way I wanted to go. Like, come on, game. Sheesh. Taking it slow and easy. In this slow ass, slow ass mission. 
But yeah, I mean, I've always done good in school, but I've never been able to concentrate. I've always been like daydreaming, like, I, I'm smart, I just... I... <laughs> I lack self-discipline. Which can come off as lazy, but... I'm not lazy. I just... Very distracted. All the time. Alright. Seems like, okay, he turns if you get it, if you get, if you make sure his head is turned before you start moving, then it seems like he turns okay. Got it. Yeah, I've never been able to concentrate in school. And it's weird because I've always done good in school despite never concentrating and never wanting to wake up and actually go to school. But I've always done good on tests and writing and all that stuff creativity and sports and walking through glass that's my that's that's where my uh, sounds really show through just kidding cuz I sucked at that oh them knees girl boy mm, Ethan all right do 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 Again? Oh, this is like right. a shoot. I guess I don't really have any choice. That's when you gotta say YOLO swag. <laughs> because you don't know what's on the other side of that. <laughs> Just probably sliding into like a, a razor blade that's spinning really fast is gonna cut you into pieces. God, uh. I always get nervous that uh, water park rides with those thin tubes like they're never gonna end or that I'm gonna get stuck. Alright. This is actually the part I find to be the most annoying. Oh man. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Um, okay. Yes, yes, we understand. It's dangerous. Got it. There's the butterfly. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Let's make sure. I believe there's a certain way to get through this. Alright, try this. Oh, that would be so nerve wracking. the fuck is this? I did not let go of any of those. Wow, talk about bullshit. So annoying. Alright. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna have to do a new one. Oh my gosh. Good thing I have a thumb. Alright. Now we should probably move to the other one. Um, I can't see. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that one will work. Alright. R1. X. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Um, I can do this one. Probably turning around going the wrong way. <laughs> that would suck so much. Ow! Something's biting my butt, I swear! <laughs> what? Ow! Ow! Damn it. Alright, I'm okay now. All right, finally we got through that crap. Thank goodness. All right, good. Now we got found a little SD SIM card 
phony thingy. Battery. Alright, what's up? How's Shawnee doing? Or oh, what's his- yeah, Sean. <laughs> Sorry, Jason, Sean. You know, Sean. Alright. Cool. Very nice. Looks like he has red <laughs> eyeshadow on. Like, just slightly. Ethan, I didn't know you liked makeup. That sad music. <laughs> I wish. I wish when you were like doing things in your everyday life that epic music would play. <laughs> you guys know the song. Oh, Madison Page is our next. Uh, you know the song Final Countdown? Whenever I worked at Subway for four years, like when I was 16 to 20. And I'd be, <laughs> there was a radio in the lobby, like where all the customers would uh, sit. Wednesday, 9.06 p.m., 2.346 inches. And I, you know, you'd have to sh 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 sweep. Wow, I can't speak. Uh, you'd have to sweep that. <laughs> and at, this radio station always played the final countdown. And it always seemed like it played it when I was sweeping. And it was like that epic music. And I like, I couldn't sweep to it. But I could sweep to it. I don't know. It was weird. It was like, it was crazy. It was like very, it would pump me up or make me feel uncomfortable if oh I didn't God. want to be pumped up. Oh, shish. Hey there, honey. See, you're lying down and ready for me. Or you're dead. Not sure. All right. Gotcha. Oh, man. Sleeping Beauty. I'd be really weirded out by this guy. I don't know. Ethan. <laughs> Ethan. This can you was hear real. Me? I'd be like, what is this guy getting into? Can't be good. Alright, what do we want to do here? Let's go to his face. You've got a hell of a fever. <sighs> Are those burn marks on your chest? Is she like, is she saying this out loud or thinking? Your arms look really bad. Oh, she's speaking out loud. <laughs> I couldn't I need tell. To disinfect your wounds. Because he seems completely out of it. Alright, guess who has to play doctor again? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Don't mind oh, me. Get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. If you thought that receptionist at this hotel was a creep, you have not met Madison. <sighs> Creeper lady extraordinaire taking men's clothes off while they're uh, out of it. That chest. Those are serious burns. I don't know if I can do anything for you. I like how she, like, rubs her hands all over him. Like, dang, that must hurt. Rub, rub, rub hands all over him, causing more pain. <laughs> That's just a dick move. I guess she doesn't know him. So. What this? Origami figures. What is he doing with them? Highly suspicious, sir. Time to go. We've got a murderer on our hands. Can you leave? Oh, you can't leave. You actually have to help him. All right, well, we'll help you. 
I'm so glad I don't have to choose from them. It would have <laughs> it would have complicated things so much more. All right, let's see here. I'll probably have to choose <laughs> from the table. All right, so we need I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Something to reduce the fever. All right, so medicine. Anti fever. So you're gonna need to yolo swag that down your throat. And she's rubbing the birds again, bitch! Stop! Jeez! I would give her a smack. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Um, painkiller. Yeah, you could go with a painkiller. Why not? Might as well throw a sleeping pill in there too. And she touches the burn again. <laughs> I just. Oh my gosh! All right. What a dick. Ow. I can't get comfortable. Alright, now at least let's rub some ointment on the bird if she's gonna keep touching it like a bitch. The wind! I can hear it. Despite having a headset on. Alright. Yeah. That should ease the pain. He seems to be coming to it a little better now, I think. I don't know. His face looks like a little more, you know. Hey, I know what's going on. Con Never mind. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wait, what was that? I'm gonna put this on the cuts. Dang! Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I my I'll controller wasn't working. <laughs> you don't understand that, cause you're like, what? You don't have a controller. <sighs> What? Sorry. This is bullshit. I went slow. Oh my god. He's about to not get any antibiotics, alright? That's how I feel about this right now. I couldn't go much slower. Oh my god, again? Okay. Oh my god, really? Uh. Alright. <laughs> this controller is so sketchy. I still have to replace it, and I still have it. Alright. Your wounds are disinfected. Now I guess we need bandages. Are we still do medicine, huh? Yeah, sleeping pills. And, hmm. We'll give him antibiotics. I probably shouldn't give him sleeping pills. Like, because I don't know what he has to do. He could have to go out in an hour. So I won't, I won't mess. You know, it's just kind of a dick move to give someone sleeping pills that doesn't need them. Or doesn't agree to having them. Oh, I was just spinning that Whoa, I guess I was supposed to spin it continuously. Alright. Do 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 do. Nice. Spinning. Oh, 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 I thought I fucked it up. So concerned. And then all the bandages would have unraveled and we would have to do it again. Alright. Up you go. Baby cakes. Now, spin. Oh, what? No! No! How did that even happen? It's out of control with my spinning. Yes. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. Hmm. I wonder how long she's been waiting there. I'd probably go back to my own room and sleep a little <laughs> and check back later. 
you know, or I, you know, if I was worried something might happen, I'd be like, all right, I'll set an alarm every 30 minutes. I don't know this man. She has no clue what's going on here. He needs chapstick. How do you feel? Ah. Uh, I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. Um... When I was a child, <laughs> I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. Oh, uh, bullies? I, uh... I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. I'm also an attention whore. <laughs> Please love me. Love me. No one you will. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? And a hooker. It's nothing. Um, I just have trouble falling asleep sometimes. I've been like that since I was a little girl. You, um, you got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. Oh, really, sir? Hey! Oh! You mixed up with the mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. I no one can help me. Whoa, did you just touch my tit? You've already sir? done a lot, Madison. I'm gonna have to ask right. you to refrain. I'm gonna go. Take care. He looked at her butt. He's like, ooh, that ass. All right. So what's next on our agenda here? Do -do -do. Number three, Mr. Lizard. Well, this is just pretty cute. Are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son? 9711 Marble Street. I love Marble Street. It's my favorite street. Who's next? Oh, I'm guessing. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! You think everyone's a perfect fit, Blake? You're like an idiot. Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She's the perfect She'd like fit. to speak with you. All right. Grace. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Oof. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. That typing. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement. She's got a monkey about face. victim of the origami killer. I'm not judging her, but it reminds me. Find of a my son. I'm begging you. Or a lemur. Man, Norman needs chapstick too. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. 
Confidential, I'm sorry, bitch. That's impossible. I beg your pardon. I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. Don't mind me. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving With you a good some time, free baby. advice, Doc. I suggest <laughs> you take it. Doctor, a child's life's at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about We your are the police. Doctor, you oh, Blake, really pushing calm my down. Buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my right. temper. Legally. Oh, no. You gotta tell us what Let you know. Let go of me. You... You have no right... I wanted to stop Blake. <laughs> There's probably cameras in here. Whoa, buddy. Oh man! He just threw that ginger man. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. Oh! Move! What's up with you, Norm? Are you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Now get out of my face unless you want to make out, creep. I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Dang, that's sketchy. All right, who's next? Who's the next? Let us at him. Nam and Jaden, Nam and Jaden. He's got a cut on his face. No, too bad. Those eyebrows, man. He needs to tweeze, actually. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Ash, some I men don't do that. Every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to someone. keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. You don't even know that. Oh. Although, that was, that was, like, you know, that was fairly... Oh, Scott Shelby all of a sudden, okay. 